The Flight Control Unit, or FCU, is the short-term actions interface with the FMGS. It is used to arm or engage the guidance modes and to select their associated targets. It is also used to set the autopilots, APs, and or autothrust, ATHR, on. The FCU has two channels. Each channel is able to drive the entire FCU. For the rest of this module, we will concentrate on the center part of the FCU. The pilot uses the FCU to select targets and arm engage the related modes for speed mock, for lateral guidance, for example heading, and for vertical guidance, for example vertical speed. The pilot also uses it to set the autopilots and auto thrust to on. We can find in the control areas four selector knobs and their associated windows as well as three mode engagement push buttons. As a general rule, if you turn a selector knob, you select a guidance target. If you then pull the same knob, you engage a mode which will guide the aircraft to the selected target. Such a mode is a selected mode. The selected target is clearly displayed on the associated window and on the associated PFD scale using a blue target symbol. On the other hand, if you push a selector knob, you arm or engage a mode which will guide the aircraft to a target managed by the FMGS. Such a mode is a managed mode. In this case, the associated window, except the altitude one, displays dashes with a white dot. Let's now have a closer look at the Speed Mac section. The Speed Mac selector knob enables you to select the target speed for the autopilot or autothrust. This selection is done by turning the selector knob. The selected speed is then displayed on the window. By pulling the speed knob, you engage the selected speed mode for the autopilot and or auto thrust, which will guide the aircraft to the selected speed target. By pushing the speed knob, you engage the managed speed mode for autopilot and or auto thrust. This will guide the aircraft to the managed speed target profile as computed by the FM. The speed window displays in this case dashes as well as an illuminated white managed speed MAC dot. The selection in the speed window can either be a speed or a MAC. In normal operation, the change from speed to MAC target occurs automatically in climb at around flight level 300 and vice versa in descent. However, you can toggle the selected target between speed and MAC by pushing the speed MAC push button on the FCU at any time. The current selection is clearly indicated by a speed or MAC legend on the display. That is all for the speed MAC area. Let's now learn more about the lateral area. Like the speed selector, the heading track can be turned, pulled or pushed. By turning it, you select a heading or track target. We will see later on how to toggle between heading and track. By pulling it, you engage the selected heading or track mode for the autopilot flight director. By pushing it, you arm engage the managed navigation mode for the autopilot flight director which will guide the aircraft along the active leg of the primary flight plan. In this case, 
the window displays dashes as well as an illuminated white managed lateral dot. The heading, vertical speed, track, flight path angle push button is used for the display of flight path vector, FPV or bird on or off the PFD. When the bird is on, your flight reference is the flight path vector, the aircraft trajectory. When the bird is off, your flight reference is the attitude of the aircraft. The consequence for the autopilot flight director is that you change their basic guidance references from track, flight path angle, bird on, to heading, vertical speed, bird off. The flight reference selected here is attitude, bird off. The aircraft attitude symbol is your flight reference and if the flight director is on, the flight director crossbars are displayed. The selection is also indicated by heading vertical speed legends on the FCU display. Change the reference. The selected flight reference is now the flight path vector, bird on. The bird symbol is your flight reference and materializes the aircraft current trajectory. If the flight director is on, the flight director flight path director, FPD, is displayed. The selection is now indicated by track flight path angle legends on the FCU display. The vertical area is divided into two parts. The first one relates to altitude, the second one relates to vertical speed or flight path angle guidance modes. The altitude window is never dashed. It always displays the target altitude which is systematically selected by the crew as the next applicable clearance altitude. This knob can also be pulled or pushed by pulling it. You engage a selected vertical mode. It will guide the aircraft towards the FCU selected target altitude while disregarding any altitude constraints of the vertical flight plan. By pushing it, you engage a managed vertical mode. It will guide the aircraft towards the FCU selected target altitude matching all altitude constraints of the vertical flight plan and along the pre-computed descent path. The white level change light comes on. Note, managed vertical mode can be engaged if the lateral profile is already managed. This knob is actually two different selectors. The inner selector sets the altitude target in the window and an outer ring changes the altitude increments. The increment decrement of the altitude can have two settings, 100 feet or 1000 feet. The metric altitude push button is also part of the altitude area. It has been already seen in the EIS chapter. We just remind you that this push button is used to display the selected altitude written in meters on the permanent data display area at the bottom of the ECAM system display, SD. Let's now have a look at the vertical speed flight path angle part. Here again the vertical speed flight path angle selector knob has three functions. The first two are similar to what we've already seen. The turn function enables you to select a target vertical speed or flight path angle. The pull function enables you to engage the selected vertical speed or flight path angle mode. The third function push differs from the other push functions. In fact, when you push the selector knob, the FM commands an immediate level off, vertical speed or flight path angle equals zero. The value zero is then displayed in the window as well as on the FMA. 
To set a value, let's first turn the vertical speed flight path angle selector knob. Turn the vertical speed flight path angle selector knob. As soon as the vertical speed flight path angle selector knob is turned, the vertical speed flight path angle window indicates the current flight path angle or vertical speed. In this case, a flight path angle value is displayed. Notice how the degrees are displayed. The minus sign indicates a descent. A climb would be indicated by a plus sign. To engage the autopilot flight director flight path angle selected mode, we have pulled the selector knob for you. For training purposes, we wish to change the flight reference and thus select the bird off, changing the basic autopilot flight director guidance references from flight path angle to vertical speed. Switch back to heading vertical speed. The vertical speed window is now showing a vertical speed target, minus 800 feet per minute, synchronized with the current vertical speed. Notice how the vertical speed is displayed and the change of labels from flight path angle to vertical speed. The vertical speed flight path angle window can also display dashes if a vertical managed mode is engaged. This case will be seen and explained later in the course. Let's now take a brief look at the other push buttons located on the FCU. The lock push button arms engages the lock mode. In case the aircraft is cleared to intercept the localizer only or in case of localizer only approach. When lock mode is armed engaged, the green lights on the push button are illuminated. You will see this function in more detail during your free play and simulator sessions. The pilot uses the approach push button to arm engage the approach modes, depending upon the approach type selected in the FM's flight plan. When engaged, green lights come on on the push button. The Xpeed push button allows you to temporarily expedite the climb or descent towards the altitude selected on the FCU. The target speed is then automatically set to the best climb or descent speed in order to achieve that goal. When selected, green lights come on on the push button. Autopilot 1, Autopilot 2 push buttons set Autopilot 1 and or Autopilot 2 to on. Autothrust push button sets Autothrust to on. The push button illuminates green when Autothrust is on or when it is armed. See Autothrust logic, e.g. as soon as takeoff power is applied. We will come back to these controls in a later module. Note, these push buttons may also be used for APs and or autothrust setting to off, but in normal operation this is not the recommended disconnection procedure. You have now seen an overview of the FCU. The FCU is basically a selector panel with various functions. Remember that one of our golden rules is know your FMA at all times, which means that any new selection made on the FCU should be confirmed on the FMA located on the PFD.